Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, let's create new solid layer for background layer. Let's right mouse, new and solid layer, add the name background, click OK. Then go to FX presets, search FX gradient ramp and select this gradient ramp. Let's use for solid layer and go to start color, change dark blue and end color, change blue like this. Click OK. So click swap colors. Okay, let's change more dark blue. Okay, that's good. So lock layer and go to shape layers. Hold this icon, select rectangle tool and let's make one rectangle like this. And glissation tool, select the shape layer, change name one and select anchor point, move the anchor point down. So right now let's select this layer 1 and use gradient ramp, let's zoom to here, change start color again blue and end color dark blue. Click OK and go to FX presses, search FX glow, select glow, let's use layer 1 and change glow settings like this. Okay, that's good. So select this layer one and move to left, move to here. And let's make more duplicates. Select layer one, control D and select, hold shift, move to right. Okay, again, control D and move to right. And select these three layers, control D, move to up and move to right. Again, select all layers, control D, selected layers, move to up and hold left mouse, hold shift, move to right. Okay, select again all layers, control D and move to up and move to right. Okay, so select last layer, delete, select all layers, control A and move to right a little bit. Okay, very nice. So, right now we can make animation for these shape layers with scale. Let's do it. First one, select this layer 1, press S and click this icon. Make scale keyframe and change scale like this. I will make random keyframes and go to 10 keyframes for shortcut, hold shift, press page down in keyboard and change scale again random value again go to 10 keyframes change scale again go 10 keyframes change scale and again change scale like this okay so select all keyframes make easy or click f9 let's animation okay select keyframes hold alt move to right let's say again nice and select two frames, control C for copy, go to last few frame, control V. Again, go to last few frame, control V, and again, control V. And here, control V. Let's see. Okay, very nice. Also, we can use expression for loop animation, but I will use manual version. Okay, select this next layer, press S, click this icon, make scale two frame, and change scale like this. Go to 10 keyframe, change scale, again go 10 keyframe, change scale. So let me show next way for go to 10 keyframes, click time duration and right here plus 10. Click OK and change scale again like this, go to again 10 keyframe, change scale and select keyframes, make easy. And let's copy keyframes, Control V, go to last keyframe, select again all keyframes. Copy and Control V for paste. Go to again next few frame, paste. Let's see. Nice. So let's select this layer three. Press S. Click this icon. Make scale two frame and change scale like this. Go to ten two frame 
change again scale and like this let's make fast okay say so two frames make easy and copy two frames and paste two frames again select two frames copy and paste nice so in this time select this first layer select this scale all two frames copy and let's make random two frames select this layer ctrl v and this ctrl v and this and this and this and this also this let's see okay select the second layer click scale for select all two frames and copy select this layer let's see okay ctrl v and this ctrl v and this this and this nice and select this layer 3 click scale for select all two frames and copy select this layer let's see okay select this layer ctrl v and this layer ctrl v and this and this and this nice very good so again select these two frames by layer one ctrl c and let's see select this layer ctrl v and select this layer ctrl v and this so let's animation okay and let's close two frame settings and select this again random layer select this 23 layer and press U, select scale, and go to right mouse, go to G frame extent and time reverse G frames for random G frames. And let's select this layer, press S, select scales, right mouse, G frame, and time reverse. Okay, that's good. And select this layer. Press S, select all scale two frames, right mouse, two frame ascent, and time reverse. And let's make any way for other layers. Select this layer, press S, select scale, and make time reverse. And this layer, press S, select scales, and time reverse. Okay, enough. So, select these all layers. Let's right mouse, pre compass, add name, chart, one. Click OK. And let's control D, compensation. And select the chart one, press S, change scale, and move to up. OK, and let's change scale a little bit like this. And select this compensation, right mouse, go to time and time reverse layer. For random animation let's see very nice very nice easy and fast so guys in this time let's create new layer solid layer add name grid click ok and go to fs presses search effect grid select this grid from generate let's use for grid layer and open size from select with slider change sliders and select this grid layer let's click this checkbox for 3d layer and press air open rotation change rotation like this and change scale more like this and move to down let's change scale again let's see nice and we can use side from with slider okay change color blue Click OK and let's change quality full. Very nice. And let's go to FS Presses, search Effect Glow. Select Glow, let's use for grid layer. And change again settings for better light. Nice. And let's select this grid. Move to like this. Let's change quality again, quarter. And select this grid layer, Ctrl D. And press R, chain rotation 0, and press P, move to back, move to up, 
Okay, change scale like this and move up and move to behind conversation layers. So let's change glow like this. Let's see. Nice, very good. Okay, let's select this grid and move up and change scale. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's go to pen tool, click this icon and let's make one line like this. Okay, click session tool and click fill, close none for inside color, click OK and change stroke width like this. Okay, change name road lion. And let's use glow. Go to solo, change glow settings. Okay, let's unsolo. And in this time, select this road line. Go to add. Let's use trim pads. Open here trim pads with one. Go to first second, and change end zero. Make end Q frame and go to eight seconds. Change one hundred percent. Nice. So in this time, let's go to shape layers. Hold this icon. Select this ellipse tool. Let's zoom to here and change quality full hold shift make one ellipse clisation tool and go to stroke change with zero go to fill open color white and let's hold control double click pen behind icon for move anchor point center clisation tool okay so let's put here and in this time select this road lion and open shape one pet one select this pet and go to window, let's open a nose from pad and click this button. Close window, let's see. Okay, we have problem with null object. Let's select this null object, open inside and effects and open here, open expression. Let's click for edit expression and delete all expressions. For done expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, again we have problem. Let's fix it. Select null object again. Open inside. And right now let's hold Alt, click this progress time icon, and let's link to end keyframes. Again, click here for done expression. Let's see. A chain quality quarter. Nice, very good. And let's go to here. In this time. Select the shape layer, link to null object. Let's see. Very nice. So let's close all settings and select this road line. Select this glow effect, Ctrl C for copy. Select shape layer one and Ctrl V for glow. And let's change scale a little bit 110. And let's open conversation, select all layers, Ctrl A and click FX for close glow effect. Back to business conversation and let's select this conversation, go to FX presses, search effect gradient ramp and let's use for conversation here and let's try change better colors. Let's use dark color. And this, okay, not bad. And let's again use glow for conversation one, change glow settings. Okay, let's try change this color like this. Okay, not bad. Click OK and change start color again like this.
and go to again glow change some glow settings okay nice select this glow and gradient ramp ctrl c select other compensation ctrl v okay nice very good so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck